Hi, this is Dr. Moore with Lindsay Moore MD, and today I want to talk to you about um, another latch maneuver that I love and I use frequently called the teacup maneuver. Now, generally speaking, if I have to help a baby latch deeper, I'm just going to take a C, right? And it's backwards on the video, I know, but a C around the breast, just a little behind, and I'm going to push gently to make the nipple pop out. That often works, but with breasts that have a lot of swelling still in them, with breasts that are really large and have a lot of tissue that if you sit up kind of hangs forward, um, anything else that's making it stretchier, more flexible, malleable, um, just if, if you do this and the nipple doesn't pop out, it just kind of like stays, that is not going to help you getting it in the mouth. So instead, we're going to turn that C hold with the thumb on top upside down, okay? And just like we would if we were having like high tea with the queen with our pinkies in the air, very fancy, okay? You don't need to put your pinky up, but that's that's why we're doing it that way. So teacup hold here. Instead of being so far back from the nipple, we're going to choke up a little bit closer on it, okay? So right behind and a lot of times just barely off to the side is what I'll end up doing. Somewhere from here to here in that area. You have to sort of see what works for you. But as I very gently, never firm, but gently squeeze, this will let me have more tissue that I'm closer to instead of being so far back so that I can really maneuver it where I want it to be. Why do I flip my hand upside down? Why don't I just choke up here with my thumb on top like I do in the C hold? Because when I go to get baby's, the nipple into baby's mouth, my thumb is all up in the way and I can't get the nipple in deeply enough because of my thumb. Instead, if we flip our hand upside down like this, okay, and I'm going into baby's mouth, now I use this and it's just not as much in the way. It works, trust me. So first and second finger, thumb and index finger, thumb is on the bottom this time, like I could put my pinky up in the air, really fancy. Okay, I've choked up on it right behind or just a little off center from the nipple. And then I use the same flipple technique. I tend to call it a micro flipple because you're not moving and popping the nipple forward as much, but it's the same technique, okay? Baby's upper lip, lower lip. I'm choked up a little bit more on the breast. I'm gonna tickle the upper lip with the nipple, right? Even though I'm choked up closer on it, I still tickle when baby opens nice and wide. And I don't mean wide, I mean baby bird wide. When that happens, I take it and then I don't pull back. Instead, I just sort of fold it in, like fold. I sort of flip it in like a flipple and then fold my finger in. I know that's a little hard to see. I'm gonna try and do it one more time here. So I'm gonna tickle, then basically fold in pushing with my index finger as I get then get out of the way. And that's gonna help baby get a deeper latch. These may seem a little bit difficult. They are kind of advanced maneuvers, although, um, once you get them and you understand them and you know how to do them, they're easy to do. But it is normal to need some hands-on help. So I recommend um, getting somebody hands-on to see you, whether it's the hospital lactation consultant, your own private lactation consultant, um, your doctor, if they know enough about this, or someone like myself, a breastfeeding medicine physician. Um, it's good to learn these techniques ahead of time. And it's also good to have somebody hands-on to practice them with you um, when you need them because sometimes it's a little awkward at first. So I really hope that helps. Um, have a great day.